Hi, I'm Macy. I'm a junior in Oregon, and I'm here to talk about V2Go and Bookshare. So I'm just going to share my screen here. Okay. So this right here is my Bookshare uh, library. You can see a couple of the books that I'm reading right now. Um, I only have a couple of books in my library, but if you happen to have more, you can see right here, I'm searching my book and that can be helpful. Um, and then right next to the tab we're on right now is called Search Bookshare, and you can click on that down below. And then I'm gonna type in one of my favorite books, The Art of Racing in the Rain, um, and you'll see it come up here as well as a couple of other options um, so this is the first one that comes up and you can see the little blue download thing and once you click on that it'll take a few seconds and send it uh, back to your library where then you can click on it and read it So once you get here, it'll just be your copyright notice, all that typical stuff. You can go forward and back in um, smaller, larger increments. And I'm gonna get to the first page here and show you how, um, how it sounds. One, gestures are all that I have. Sometimes I must be grand in nature. And when I occasionally step over the road and into the world, yes, yeah, so you can see that it highlights the word and phrase you're on. And if you go to settings, um, it'll show font you, size. yes, the, the font size settings. Settings. and then the visual settings. I have it set for this green color, obviously, um, but that just happens to be a color that I enjoy. You can set it to whatever color um, is best for your learning. And then the audio you can also audio change. Settings. Yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much it. It'll give you like a little example, as you saw, of um, how quickly it works. Um, that's the bookmark. Navigation section. You can find the bookmark, bookmark. in the bookmark section One. and click and on it. Step up the and into the world. It sends you to where you were last reading. Navigation. And if you go back, section. you can get to the section or page number that you were on. Playback. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you look up in the top right corner, there's an edit button, which um, is just there in case you wanted to delete one of the books, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, and of course, if you needed to re-download that book, that's also um, available. Okay, let me get out of here. Um, yeah, so that's one of my favorite um, audiobook and overall technology platforms. It's been super helpful in my reading. Um, I believe Bookshare is completely free as long as you're a student and you have proof of disability. Um, read to go. I think it's a little unclear, but I believe it may be an upfront cost of twenty dollars for the app, um, but no monthly payments after that. Um, read to go is different than a lot of different uh, or options as far as audiobooks go. Um, it is more of a mechanical, like robot voice, which a lot of people don't love. But the benefit of that is that books, um, newer books, are often on this platform, whereas if you went with uh, Learning Ally, they may not be on there. So yeah, that's pretty much it with uh, Bookshare and Read2Go. I hope this is helpful.